Could the rise of BRICS nations really mean the end of the United Nations as we know it? Today, we'll talk about the calls for change in the UN and what that means for countries everywhere. How does Western control in international organizations affect our ability to work together globally? After exploring these issues, I'll share how these changes could reshape global diplomacy and impact the future of the UN. Welcome to the channel. The United Nations has been a key player in global diplomacy for ages, bringing together its 193 member countries to chat and collaborate. But things are getting interesting lately, especially with the rise of the BRICS group, made up of Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. As these countries push for big changes, we can't help but wonder, is the UN still relevant in today's fast-changing world? A quick look at past withdrawal threats. The idea of countries pulling out of the UN isn't new. It often reflects deeper political frustrations rather than a real desire to break away. Take Indonesia, for example. Back in 1965, they temporarily stepped back from the UN because they were unhappy about Malaysia getting a seat on the UN Security Council. They saw it as a sign of neo-colonialism. Fortunately, Indonesia rejoined a year later after a government change, showing how politics can shift international ties. Fast forward to 2016, when Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte threatened to leave the UN after facing backlash for his controversial policies on human rights. But his foreign secretary later said it was just talk, and the Philippines was still committed to the UN. Similarly, in the US, there was a push in 2017 to end American membership in the UN through the American Sovereignty Restoration Act. But these moves often seem more like political statements than real plans. These examples show a pattern. Threats to leave organizations like the UN are often used as political tools rather than signs of actual change. With BRICS nations challenging the status quo, the future of the UN is looking more uncertain. BRICS and the call for change. BRICS is stepping up and calling for major reforms in the UN, saying that Western countries have too much control. This is especially clear in the Security Council, where just five permanent members, the US, UK, France, Russia and China, hold veto power. The BRICS nations argue that this setup doesn't reflect today's geopolitical and economic realities. With over 40% of the world's population and a huge chunk of global GDP, BRICS countries believe they deserve a bigger say in international matters. Brazil, India and South Africa, despite their large populations and economic impact, don't even have permanent seats on the Security Council. This lack of representation has sparked calls for change as these nations want to fix what they see as an unfair system. Plus, the fact that the 54 African countries, making up about 28% of the UN's members, don't have permanent representation shows a bigger issue of fairness within the UN. African nations have long wanted a stronger voice in decision-making to match their demographic and regional importance. As BRICS nations push these demands, the pressure for reform in the UN is definitely heating up. Criticism of Western dominance in global governance. Let's talk about something that's been bothering a lot of folks. Western dominance in global governance. This isn't just about the UN. It stretches into major financial institutions like the International Monetary Fund, IMF, and the World Bank. BRICS countries have been pretty vocal about feeling sidelined in these setups. They believe the rules are stacked in favor of Western interests, making it tough for emerging markets to get a fair shake. For example, the leadership roles in the IMF and World Bank have mostly been held by Europeans and Americans, which rubs many BRICS nations the wrong way. India and Brazil have been pushing for more permanent seats in the Security Council for major developing countries, but they're hitting a wall with Western opposition. The feeling among BRICS is clear. 
The current international systems seem to prioritize Western geopolitical and economic goals over those of non-Western countries, especially when it comes to important issues like human rights and economic policies. As BRICS keeps pushing for change, the demand for fairer representation in global governance is only getting louder, challenging the old Western-centric ways. Inconsistent global responses and double standards. Now let's dive into another hot topic, the inconsistency in how global bodies respond to conflicts. BRICS countries argue that Western nations often get a pass for actions that draw heavy criticism when similar things happen with non-Western countries. This raises some serious questions about fairness in international governance. A clear example of this double standard is seen in how refugees are treated. When the Ukrainian refugee crisis hit, the European Union jumped into action, activating the Temporary Protection Directive for the first time. This gave Ukrainians immediate rights to live and work in the EU, access social services, and enroll their kids in schools. On the flip side, refugees from Syria, Afghanistan, and Somalia have faced tougher border controls and less welcoming asylum policies. Many point to geographical closeness, perceived cultural ties, and political factors as reasons for the different responses. While European citizens rallied around Ukrainian refugees, similar support was noticeably absent during the 2015 crisis involving mostly non-European refugees. This uneven treatment highlights a bigger issue that BRICS nations are raising, the selective application of international norms and standards. It's fueling their push for reform and a more equitable global approach. BRICS and the push for financial reform. Besides wanting changes in the UN, BRICS countries are also looking to shake up big financial institutions like the IMF and World Bank. They believe these organizations are outdated and too controlled by Western countries, which doesn't fit with today's global economy where emerging markets matter a lot. To change this, BRICS set up the New Development Bank. This bank focuses on funding projects that improve infrastructure and support sustainable development in BRICS countries and other emerging markets. The goal is to provide a different way to get funding that doesn't rely on Western institutions. Plus, the NDB wants to help countries use their local currencies instead of the US dollar, giving them more economic freedom. BRICS is also calling for changes to the IMF's quota system to give developing countries a stronger voice and more voting power. These changes are seen as essential for creating a fairer global financial system that truly meets the needs of emerging economies. As BRICS grows in influence, their push for financial reform is a key part of their plan to change global governance. Moving towards a multipolar world, looking ahead, Tensions between BRICS nations and Western countries are still high, often fueled by geopolitical rivalries. These disagreements show up in global economic and climate policies. BRICS countries want fairer treatment and support that acknowledges their different stages of development. With their growing influence, they're starting important talks about the future of international governance. Some ideas include reforming international bodies like the UN to make the Security Council more representative and strengthening regional organizations to handle local issues. As BRICS brings in more countries, their collective voice becomes even more important in shaping global policies. However, for these efforts to work, BRICS needs to manage its internal differences and conflicting interests. The variety of views among BRICS nations could make it tough to present a united front when negotiating with Western powers. If reforms to existing institutions keep getting delayed, BRICS might consider creating new structures that change how global governance works, moving away from the traditional Western-centered model. This shift could have significant effects on the future of the UN and international relations how BRICS decisions could shape the future of the UN, 
The choices made by BRICS nations could have a big impact on the future of the UN. As these countries push for reforms, they're challenging the old power dynamics that have shaped international relations for years. The rising influence of BRICS could lead to changes in global governance structures, affecting how the UN operates. As BRICS continues to advocate for better representation of developing nations, the UN might feel pressure to adapt to these changes. Ongoing discussions about reform could either strengthen the UN's role in international cooperation or lead to its decline as alternative governance structures take hold. In this shifting environment, the future of the UN is uncertain and everyone is watching closely to see how these dynamics play out. What do you think? Can BRICS really change the future of the UN? Share your thoughts in the comments. And that's it for today. Hit the like button and subscribe. Stay tuned for more and catch you at the next one.